Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Pushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd do you a review of the Yeti Day Trip, a little insulated uh, lunchbox. Now I must admit I've become a bit of a Yeti fanboy. It's all their products, although the, the cost is high, perform really well and they do everything they say on the box and this is no exception. So, <coughs> little lunchbox. Of course it comes with all the usual Yeti instructions. Right, but it is foldable, so it packs away pretty neat. So I'm thinking when I fly places, this might be a, a, a goer. I can pack it down neat and uh, and use it on my air travel holidays. So it comes with the usual Yeti type instructions. Uh, like everything else they make, made in China, designed in America. Well stitched, EVA form base. Now I did fill this with water to test it for water tightness and it is water tight. Now it held approximately five liters. It does get a bit bulgy because it's not designed to hold old liquid. So but it gives you a good idea on the internal volume. So what's pretty clever, now this is still, still pretty new so it's a bit stiff, is this rack system. It allows various volume closures depending on, on where you are. Uh, on the top here, inside, there is a magnetic catch. That will help seal out air leaking out. So it will hold six, six cans. Now these are the Australian cans of course, it's slightly bigger than the American ones. And they've designed it so it's a dead fit of course for one of the Yeti ice bricks. Now these aren't cheap in Australia, but they're really quite good. They seem to que freeze quite quickly and uh, do these the cutouts and what have you. I don't know why you need lashing points on an Esky brick, I'm sure they'll be used for it. And uh, I do think they are worth the the coin spent. Now, of course, it will take said Yeti brick. I'll give you a look inside. So the the edges are seam sealed or welded, if you want to call it that way. They, um, it will take one ice, you know, said ice brick. Sort of a, a reasonable sized lunchbox. And see a can of pop. And yeah, pretty compact little unit. I'm just catching all that. I've had to retreat inside today because the flying skills on overtime. So a quick look at the specs. 506 grams. Chocker's full. A length of 8.75 inches or 225 mil for the rest of us. A width of 5.75 inches. I'd call that the depth, by the way, of 150 mil. And an all up height, approximately 10 inches or 260 mil. I call the volume at around 5 litres. It may be 6, but I'd, it's hard to say with the bulging. An insulation thickness of about seven mil. So this is currently winter here in the Western Australia, so it hasn't been exactly scorching hot. With that two uh, pound brick and six cans that were cold when they went in, they were still around uh, three degrees Celsius at the uh, the twelve hour mark. Now I didn't get a chance to come back at a later point after twelve hours. Work got in the way, but at 24 hours they were at room temperature, so obviously not the insulation power of a true cooler, but certainly a nice and small compact lunchbox off to the game, off to the park, day, exactly as it says, sort of a day trip mini cooler lunchbox. It certainly does uh, everything it says it does do. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this interesting. 
when I get some peace and quiet. I've got some uh, videos coming up on setting up the Australian Army uh, Hoochie, which is a tarp shelter system we use here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.